Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have you on the um I forgot what you call that thing when I put my phone and today we're gonna do a little mug bond and this is some mac and cheese from Popeyes is so delicious. I'm gonna move my wig back so like I um I already posted a video about this wig it's not glued to my head so that's why you, it's not <laughs> the best application ever but i wanted to do a little mud bunk since i haven't done one in a long time since i think since i had covid where me and my son had um chinese food but anyways guys how are you guys doing This is the best mac and cheese. I'm glad I decided to warm it up because usually I don't eat mac and cheese from other places, but this I felt like I needed to try it and oh my gosh. Mm. I love the soda. The Mountain Dew Frostbite. This flavor. So good. Oh my goodness. Recommend. I don't know if it's just temporary, but if you can pick it up, pick it up because it's so good. But anyways, guys, um, I kind of wanted to come here to like talk a little bit more about myself because like I feel like more people are following me on this channel and you honestly don't know much about me besides that I love doing hauls and stuff so I kind of want to do like a long waited um introduction and I, I used to have videos back in the day with more like um, Q and A's and stuff, but I deleted uh, my account because I would I wasn't able to post no more videos. Like it was giving me issues, so then I decided to make a new one. So this is the one I have now. Um, I had to start from scratch again, you know. So. I'm like a complete stranger to you guys and um I know this channel is super small and um I'm about to get 60 subscribers but just to know that there's 60 people supporting me means a lot and of course some are my family members my husband but most of you are people that don't know me and that means a lot to me that you are willing to subscribe to my channel and watch my videos even if you know um you don't know much about me like personally so i want to kind of talk about a little bit about myself which is hard to talk about myself but just to give you an idea of who i am what i'm about you know because when i watch someone on youtube i kind of like to know like you know their story or like who I'm watching, you know? Okay, so let me get started. So, uh, as you know, on my YouTube channel, my channel is called Diana Loves Makeup. So, obviously, my name is Diana. And I, uh, I've been loving makeup since I was a really, really young girl. I believe I was, like, in middle school when I remember noticing makeup because my mom would wear makeup. So, I remember I would always take her lipsticks and um her mascara so then when i went to, i think i started wearing mascara in middle school but not, i'm not 100 percent sure but for sure in high school all i would wear was um mascara eyeliner um and i don't know if i was no i wasn't wearing lipstick yet even though i would get my mom's lipsticks but at school i, I wouldn't wear it but then i think i did try foundation 
in high school. I can't remember exactly what year. But but yeah, but I've loved makeup since I was a little girl. I was always a very girly girl because I felt like my mom was like that, you know, she was always getting ready, doing her makeup, dyeing her hair. So I started dyeing my hair super young too. So that's where like my passion for makeup and dyeing my hair came about, you know, because I've been dyeing my own hair since I was like, I think 14, 15 years old. And um, obviously today I'm wearing the wig, but I've dyed my hair every color that you can think of and I've gone light to dark and that's caused a lot of damage in my hair. And uh, I've gone to professionals when I was still a teen because my mom would pay for the, for the stylist to do my hair. And before it wasn't as, ex as expensive as it is now. So for me to spend money for someone to dye my hair, I don't know. Like if my hair was healthy and in good, condi in good condition, I would go and get my hair like a blonde, you know. But my hair is in the worst condition right now, so they cannot bleach my hair at all. What I do need is a haircut. And... My hair's like, it's growing, but since I started cutting my own hair, I feel like my hair has not grown like how it used to grow. Because my hair has always taken forever to grow, but I feel like now, after me cutting it for like two years since COVID, I started cutting my own hair, um, my hair doesn't grow the same way anymore. So I know I screwed it up. So I for sure need to get a haircut by a professional. And so I can start over and try to try my best not to touch my hair. And um, that way I can like, you know, go and save money to go to a professional and dye it whatever color I want, you know, because I don't like to go to a um, stylist if I'm going to have my hair like a brown or a, a jet black because those are easy colors to achieve, you know. And I feel like it's a waste of money to pay to get that done. And you can do it yourself, you know, but when it's more like tricky colors, like blonde and like highlights and all that kind of stuff, balayage, like with that, I understand, you know, but the good thing, yeah, well, if you go, they'll dye your whole head, you don't have to worry about like patches and stuff. But for me, when I do dark colors, I rather do it myself. So yeah, and even though I did my own when I went light, but at the time I was not working. But now that I'm working, I want to save money to get stuff done, you know. Because for me, my biggest insecurity has always been my hair. Mm. Because my hair has always been not in the best condition. Because I do so much to my hair. But um, I, I always wanted to get um, tape-ins or like, I forgot what they're called. But like, you know, where they sew in ex um, hair extensions to your head. Or you sleep with them, you take showers with them, and I guess you can keep them in for like six months, and then they keep putting them more up and up. So I always wanted to do that, but obviously I haven't had money for that because it's very expensive. I heard like it's a thousand and more than a thousand dollars, and you have to keep going every six months, you know. So that's a lot of like a lot of money, you know. So I've only had wigs, I've had uh, the clipping extensions. But not anything other than that, I haven't. So that's something I want to do in the future so I can have, like, you know, a lot nice, long, luscious hair, you know. Because that's always been my dream to have very long hair. And I haven't had very long hair since I was, like, a baby, like a little girl. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, but, yeah, so, excuse me. I love makeup. I love anything with hair. I love clothes. Um... I'm more of a sweater kind of person, like, um, anything with, like, sweats, colorful, um, I like a lot of, um, inspirational, um, videos, like, on TikTok, all I love to watch is, like, uh, I don't know his name, but this TikToker that, um, uh, he always goes towards the homeless, and he gives them $500, and, like, um, 
he like will play like a game and he'll ask different people like hey do you want to play with me and uh, like kind of like being a child again and then if they say no they lose the blessing but whoever says yeah he ends up blessing them for with five hundred dollars and sometimes he'll be like oh do you have five dollars that i can have and if they do try to give him five dollars he'll bless him with the five hundred dollars so it's like it's like a game of kindness and like being honest i don't know i'm not good at explaining but i like to watch videos that give me hope and um they have meaning they make someone stay like i'm a very emotional person like i'm very um sensitive if you will but um i don't know i'm that type of person that at once i care for someone i care for them you know and but i'm also become this person where if you do something that hurts me i cut people off like this and i know that's like not the best quality or what is the word like not the best thing of me that i have but i'm trying to work on that but i'm a, a really like a big person like a um out there person you know i'm very quiet reserved and stuff but i'm trying to get out of my shell because back in the day in high school i uh, i was i was shy but when it came to like my group my friend group i was very talkative and like if i get comfortable with you i won't be as quiet but it's just it's hard for me to make new friends you know especially now that i'm getting older i don't know i feel like it's so much harder harder so i know that's something that i need to work on especially because my husband always tells me because i have my kids you know and like i hate talking to like their friends moms i feel like i don't relate with them because um they're older than me even though i always talk to older people like better but i just feel like here where i live is like i don't know but yeah but anyways i think i'm going off track but yeah one thing you need to know about me is that i'm a very caring person i'm very um emotional sometimes it's a good thing sometimes it's not a good thing i i just love my boys i feel like honestly i know it might sound so sad but the, i feel like the only purpose that i'm in this life in this world is to be a mother and i want to be a better mother because i know no one's perfect but i just um i just want to be a better mother a better example to my kids because it's just some cycles that we got to break, you know, because I had a not the best childhood. I didn't have the worst, worst childhood, but I did go through a lot as a child. I went through some traumas that um, have affected me now as an adult that has and a lot of stuff have been. um, Or how should I say it? Um, sorry it's because i'm not good at explaining but there's a lot of stuff that i haven't accomplished because of my traumas you know like it's so hard to break those traumas or like it's hard to to know how to navigate with those things and to overcome them you know but i don't know but i'll make a separate video maybe like talking about my life like giving my testimony because i've never never not even at the church that i was going to for years i never gave my testimony and now that i'm talking about testimonies i'm also a christian and i'm not gonna lie the last years maybe four or five years i haven't really been walking the walk you know like that saying where um I'm not practicing what I know or what I'm supposed to do, you know, like I have been missing going to church. We go to a new church now, obviously, because we moved cities. 
but I haven't been as faithful as I should be in, um, in giving my time to the Lord. You know, like I, I do talk to God every day. I pray every day. Um, and I ask him for forgiveness, but I'm not, um, I don't know how to say it, but like, I don't go to church every Sunday. I don't really go to Bible studies anymore. I'm not as committed as I used to be back in the day. And I know that's nothing that I need to be proud of because it's not okay. <laughs> you know, as a believer, we know what we're supposed to do. But at the same time, we're not perfect people. And God forgives us. And God gives us new chances every single day to do um, His will, you know. And I'm learning because I have to just remind myself that it's not just about me, my situation. That it, it's about God and I don't know, I'm just like struggling right now, I'm not gonna lie. But I know I'll get there. It's just like I just need to focus and um not get distracted. Um and now that I'm at work that I'm working long days, it's easier not to, you know, like it's easier to get tired and not want to go to church on the weekend and just stay home and I've, I've been a homebody for a long time not when i was young but as i got older I, I don't know i just love staying home and i think that has a lot to do with my anxiety with like things happening like i'm always overthinking things and like i'm very like paranoid with the world you know with evil people out there and i don't know it's just that when I became a mom, I feel like my fear, my anxiety, and a lot of emotions got stronger, you know? And I feel like a lot of moms can relate with that. Like, once you become a mom, like, you get more fears about everything because you just want to protect your children and you want to protect your mind, you know? And, um, I don't know. But I feel like that's something also that I need to get over. And the funny thing is that at my job, I work with a lot of younger people than me. Like, I'm older than them for, like, 10 12 15 years and um they're kind of teaching me how to like just be free again not in a bad way but like just to to just enjoy life and not take everything so seriously because i do i take everything so seriously i've always i don't know i just hate being that kind of person you know i want to be able to just relax and enjoy a, every day you know and not live like so tense and so i don't know how to the words you know but mm, I just want to be someone that can encourage instead of bringing people down or like making people feel sorry for me because that's not what I'm trying to do you know so I just want to be a good example I just want to be um a good leader um like at work to be a good um team player um i don't know i just want to be able to help people you know and i don't know i just i just have a lot of praying to do about my purpose you know because once you become a wife once you become a mother you lose your identity all you see yourself is as the wife and a mother and then you lose yourself you forget about who you are and then you start getting um very resentful and i'm trying to break that i'm trying to find myself again love myself and see my worth and um and by doing this youtube channel like i feel like it's helped me a lot with my confidence and like with my speech because I, I always felt like i struggled talking you know because my first language is Spanish, and even in elementary school, even though I was born here, for some reason, all my teachers from kinder to fifth grade, they only talked to me in Spanish, and they were not Mexican. You know, they Spanish was not their first language, so I don't know how the heck they were teaching me Spanish, and all my homework was in Spanish. So then when I became a middle schooler, when I was in sixth grade, I remember struggling because that's when they took Spanish for good. You know, like they had no more Spanish speaking. And I struggled. Like, it was horrible. I even was in special classes to know more about uh, the language in English. And I feel like since then, I've always, you know, been so insecure about my my 
speech, I guess, or how I talk and stuff, how I, I express myself. I don't know. It's just been like one of my biggest insecurities, but yeah, but I'm trying to work on that. And please pray for me because I haven't been in college since 2009, I believe. And I need to take one class for my job. And I'm so nervous because um, the good thing is it's on Zoom. So I don't have to be there. Like, oh my gosh, I remember public speaking and doing presentations were the worst things for me. But there at least it's going to be Zoom. But I'm still nervous because there's going to be other classmates on Zoom, you know, and my biggest fear. Huh? Oh, I thought it was my husband. He's not here. Yeah, my biggest Oh, thing is like public speaking so that's another thing I'm like so nervous because I gotta take this class next month and pray for me that I can do good because I was never really good in school due to the whole my issue with my I don't know I just feel like I have a disability it takes me longer to process things and learn like some people can like um memorize things like that me it takes me like many 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 tries to memorize something you know i don't know i feel like i never developed like i don't know that's a different story but but yeah but just pray for me for this class that i'm gonna take that i'm so nervous about but i gotta take it it's 400 dollars the class for only 48 hours but just pray for me please and um yeah um uh, i don't want to make this video too long it's already like 21 minutes but I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about me. I'm a wife. I'm a mother. I'm Christian. I just love people that are kind. And I know we gotta love everybody. But all we can do is pray for people. And be kind. And be just mindful of other people. Because you don't know what they're going through, you know. And um, I just, I don't know. I'm not making sense guys but I'm just so thankful for you guys that have been subscribing and you guys help me so much and you guys motivate me to post more videos and like do hauls and I'm blessed that I'm able to spend some money you know to just buy little things here and there you know because mm. before I couldn't do that when I was a stay at home mom and yeah, and right now, you know, bills and bills, but at least I'm able to save some money to for myself, and it helps, you know. But um, mm, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Mm. Well, and I love perfumes. There was a time. Where I wanted to change my name from YouTube to Diana Loves Perfumes <laughs> instead of Diana Loves Makeup, but it wouldn't make sense because I can't afford to buy perfume all the time because you know perfume is very expensive. Makeup is too, but perfume is like, you know, and I have a lot of perfume and I've had a lot more in the past, but thank God I've been using them up. But yeah, that's another thing I love is perfume smelling good. I don't know I just I just I'm just a really girly girl and even though like it might seem like so bougie I'm not because all my stuff the perfumes yeah I've spent a lot on them but a lot of my makeup I get it on discount on their sales when I save some money and then or I go to TJ Maxx Marshalls and I always use coupons on Ulta or like the $3 3.50 off or the three dollars and fifty cents off so yeah, but I don't have no designer like purses or shoes or anything like that, you know? Just my makeup and the perfumes, but nothing more. Because I cannot afford that and I will never spend that much money on a purse or shoes or anything like that, you know? But anyways, guys, but, but if you do, lucky you. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I think that's pretty much everything. I don't know if I'm missing out or I'm not making sense at all. This video is all over the place, but if you stay this long, I thank you so much. And thank you for just, you know, taking the time to watch my videos and for subscribing and supporting me as a very, very small channel. And hopefully I can grow this channel and 
um yeah but anyways guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so you're notified every time i post a video and i'll talk to you guys later bye